let me brush it out for you guys you guys can see it's not very frizzy anymore um that is because I <laughs> You guys welcome back to the channel this is joy here and on today's video i'm doing a review of this hair this hair is from beauty forever amazon seller um this color is not the original color of the hair i actually dyed it this color and i'm gonna give you guys like all the details on how i customized the hair and everything that i did so i'm gonna insert some clips of what i went through when i was customizing this hair you guys it was a process and i was so scared because i was like oh my god please don't let this be bad but it actually turned out really really good and i like it the only thing i would say is that this the end is different it's a little bit different um this is giving more it's like actually on on camera it looks orange but it's really a copper color it's really copper i was going for ginger more like a ginger orangey color but it give it came out like a copper color which i like it anyway it's super cute i've never had my hair this color before but i like it um yeah so i'm gonna start on the screen so you guys can see like my whole process of how i got the hair this way all right you guys so in this clip here as you can see i am customizing the wig just going in, plucking out some hairs from the front, and I had to open up the part a little bit. Now, I had to be very careful in this part because I didn't want to um, show the track because it is a closure wig. So I have my silicone mix here. I used the argon oil silicone mix, and I'm just saturating the hair. And what I did was I let it sit overnight, and then I washed it out the next day just to get the frizz out of the hair because it was a little frizzy. And then in this clip, I am filling up my water container because... I did dye this hair using the watercolor method, which I, this was my first time, and it actually came out better than I expected. So the color that I'm using is Adore number 72. It's called Paprika. I'll have it linked down below. Um, I got this from my local beauty supply store. So I'm just filling up the container here with the color. Just make sure I get all that color out of there. And then I'm just taking some water, shaking up the bottle, you know, because we can't waste any product. We got to get all our money's worth. And then I have my second bottle of color here. Um, I didn't use two different colors. I know sometimes people will use two different colors to get the look that they want, but I just use two of the same color. Um, so after I go ahead and fill up the container, what I'm going to do is start stirring the color into the water just to make sure everything is blended and evenly, you know, evened out. So when I do put the hair in there, I don't have like chunks of color in one section. Everything will just distribute equally. So after I'm done mixing it, I go ahead and put my wig in. And as you guys can see, this wig has the fake scalp underneath, which I don't really care for that fake scalp. Um, I was kind of scared that the lace was going to change color and that scalp underneath was going to change color. So I didn't let it sit in the water as long as it could have. So maybe I would have gotten better results with the color because the ends did, didn't take color as well as the top did, but whatever. Yeah, so just make sure you get all the color blended in, you know, let it soak in there. And just a tip, if you are going to dye hair using the watercolor method, make sure that you use gloves because I didn't use gloves and you can see my hand change color, but I ended up washing it out and it did come out. So thank goodness for that. Um, so yeah, I'm just letting it sit in there, playing around with it, just making sure that everything gets saturated. And this is what we came out with. I mean, it looks good. Lace and dye like I thought it would um, color was taking which was you know not bad at all so that was it okay so I'm just gonna read the details here about the hair so this is for beauty forever they are listed on Amazon so this is the wig um, they do have a website but this hair was actually sent to me from their Amazon seller so I don't know if you guys can see but I'll, I'll have all the details listed in the description down below I installed this I didn't glue this down I actually installed it with the wig grip and the wig grip that I got is from Amazon I will link it down below as well um, just for the purposes of this video there's no need for me to glue this hair down it says the density is 150 but this is giving more like 120 like this is not very full at all so this is all the hair right there um, it could be because I straighten it, so maybe that's why it's not as has much volume, but it is 150 density. Um, it is the T part. It's not a lace front, it's a closure wig. Um, what else is there? And this is 16 inches, like I mentioned, but like I said, it's kind of long for me. It's like, well, it's not long for me. I like long hair, but 
it feels longer than 16 inches it's giving more like 18 inches and right now it is listed for 120 dollars but i do have a coupon code i'll have the code listed down for you guys below and i also put it somewhere here on the screen for you guys as well um so now let me give you guys the pros and cons about the hair and how i feel about it and this is an honest review even though this hair was sent to me by um their amazon seller so i don't have too many cons about the hair to be honest with you guys um the only thing is it wasn't very full like i said but it could be because i straightened it um see that's it um it's not very full i am used to like if you guys watch my videos you know i'm used to like curly hair big hair this is really cute it's a different look for me um the color was like a honey blonde when i received it i like the honey blonde it was cute but i've been wanting to try red hair um i normally get like dark burgundy hair so i was like i want to do like orange hair so um i went to my beauty supply store and i got this color i dyed it it didn't come out the color that i expected it to be but i still love this color so much and i'm surprised that it even took color because i did the watercolor method with this and it works perfect it was very frizzy when i got it um it's not like that anymore let me brush it out for you guys you guys can see it's not very frizzy anymore um that is because i washed and conditioned it with silicone mix and then after that i blow dried it when i blow dried it um i flat ironed it what did i use i used tresemme their blow dry spray and then i used this product right here which is from tresemme as well um I used it to flat iron the hair so that is why it's kind of shiny like this and um, if you don't like your hair shiny then I would say skip the products just flat iron it. It took heat very well it didn't burn it didn't fry um, ends are good. So this is not how the hair comes I layered it a little bit um, when I was flat ironing it I did go in and like clip it to kind of give it a little bit more of a shape. Okay, so this is my part situation here I did put makeup on it um, and I did pluck it so now this does have the fake scalp up underneath it um i don't know how i feel about that i don't i'm not too crazy about the fake scalp to be honest with you guys and the fake scalp was a little too too light for me so i had to go in with this product here and you guys see it focus yet yeah. all right so i had to go in with this product here and i sprayed it the, all this is is tint your lace tint um I just sprayed it on to tint the lace a little bit, make it a little bit more darker to match my complexion. For somebody who is lighter complexion, the way that it comes originally will probably work out for you fine. But for me, I had to go in and customize it for my complexion. Um, and then what else did I do to this wig? Um, I think that's it. Yeah, so um, this is actually on with wig grip and wig grip is good. Look, y'all, this ain't going nowhere. Okay, I think this hair is so cute. Um... I love it like I do like I like I said when I was customizing it I got kind of scared I was like oh my goodness this could go really really bad or really good and it did come out really good so um, I definitely would recommend the seller I'll put the link down below and like I said you guys you can save 6% off of this wig it's currently $120 but you can get um, a little something off using my code I will have it linked below that is pretty much it with this review you guys thank you guys so much for watching um like i said i know this is a different look for me it's very different but it's cute so make sure you comment down below and tell me how you guys feel about this hair is it a look how do you like it um would you rock it you know all right <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video